day or night X. X is for exotics. Um, wanted to do a video. I've had some questions that arise up over um, this past Easter weekend. A lot of my family members were trying to ask me why I own tarantulas and the best way I could come up with an answer for them is why they should own one. Why anybody should own one, especially the ones who don't know anything about tarantulas. In my opinion, they're the ones who definitely need to own one so they can kind of get over this misconception that tarantulas are somehow some kind of uh, very bad animal to have, mainly because a lot of people are afraid of the creepy crawliness of it, but first and foremost, the bite. We all know if you own tarantulas, you know, how many times have we really been bitten? I would say a lot of us hobbyists, we've been keeping them for a while. I've never been bitten. No people that have. Doesn't mean you did anything wrong, doesn't mean you're doing everything right, it just means, you know, by chance, by person, that person hasn't been bitten. It really has nothing to do with the animals so much as circumstance, timing, etc. So, the first thing I would say to somebody to convince them that they should own a tarantula, the very first thing I would say is to educate people. Own one to educate yourself on everything that you have been led to believe, whether it's true or false, find out for yourself. Find out. Get yourself a tarantula. Find out if they are as scary as everybody says they are, or you just maybe are afraid of them. I'll be the first one to admit. Ten years before I owned my first tarantula, before I really started getting interested in them, I was afraid of tarantulas like you wouldn't believe. Snakes as well. Afraid of both of them. I would have nightmares about tarantulas, and getting my first one was one of my reasons. I don't like to be afraid of anything. I'm one of those people where I would say I will challenge myself to do anything. You know, one of those challenges was getting over the fear of spiders and snakes. And as you can see, if you look at my videos, I've conquered that. I've jumped over that hill plenty of times. So, uh, personally, getting my first tarantula was to conquer a fear. It was a conquer fear of it. And, I mean, the first night I had in my house, I was freaked out. I'm like, what the hell am I fucking thinking with getting this tarantula? But, I got over it. You want to know why? Because I educated myself. The more I got into them, the more tarantulas I got, I realized they're really not any differently than owning fish. You look at fish from afar, you don't touch them, you let them do their thing, you clean them, you feed them. That's pretty much what we do with tarantulas. I don't personally handle any of my teas. I do it for educational purposes if I want to get one out, but you'll really find a video of me handling my tarantulas. The only ones I really handle are my gramostolas, gramostolas and my Afona Pelmas, and that's usually two of my tarantulas, the first two that I ever got, and they're real comfortable with me, I'm comfortable with them, so that, they're probably the only two that I would, uh, I would uh, handle. But another reason why you want, might want to own a tarantula, and I'll list a few, is they're relatively inexpensive. After the initial cost of buying them, whether it's in person or getting them shipped, they're really inexpensive. You're feeding them once a week, twice a week. In my case, my bigger tarantulas, I'm feeding them once a month, loading them up with superworms. That's really inexpensive. Um, you know, I change their cage two to three times a year, you know, more if they get really out of hand. But for the most part, they're inexpensive. So that's one thing. They don't take up a lot of space. Unlike a dog or a cat, they're not going to wander all over your house spreading dog hair and cat and fleas and shit. You know, they, they're not going to do that. All you have to worry about really is them getting out. And that's upon you as a person to take care of them to make sure that you're not the one actually, uh, letting them loose you know make sure you have the proper setup the cages and everything again setup you don't need a dog house you don't need kitty litter you don't need a bird cage you just need a little tank 10 gallon tank tops and you're good you can be creative with them one of the biggest reasons why i encourage people to get tarantulas just like a dog or a cat in that regard is the variety you get so much variety in tarantulas and if you stack them up, or what I call stacking meaning if you start like a Gramostola, work your way up to a Phonopelma, you get yourself a Brachypelma, you work yourself up to a Samopoas, Pocleotheria, OBT, uh, S. Calciatum, and then you, you know filter in all the ones in between, you can build up a nice little collection in no time that takes up a little small corner of your room and you're good. You can show these animals off. That's another reason to own one. These are brilliant animals to show off. Everybody's seen a dog, everybody's seen a cat. Not often someone's going to come to your house, especially if they're interested in animals, and look inside of a cage and go, wow, I want to learn more about that. And that brings me to my next point. You can educate and teach people all the stuff that you've learned so you can pass on the knowledge to somebody else, and maybe they'll pass it on to someone else. So essentially, you buying a tarantula is meaning you're passing on the lineage of information. Hopefully, more and more people out there will understand them. And that's what it's all about, education, learning. Making sure that people don't fear these animals because they're not to be feared. They're no different than a dog or a cat. 
I've been bitten much more by dogs and cats in my life than I ever have by any of my exotic pets. And that's just a fact. They're not scared of me. Seeing somebody's trained dog, attack dog, to come at me, I'm afraid of that son of a bitch. <laughs> because I don't know. He's been trained to hurt me. Nobody's training their tarantulas to hurt you. Nobody's training their snake to hurt you. So, that's another good point. And, again, if you're afraid of tarantulas, get one. I recommend just starting with your basic, just go to any pet store, get yourself a Gramostola species, or an Aphonopelma species, or a Brachypelma species. I personally recommend a grandma, the Brachypelma species because you get a lot of variety within that genus without even having to go outside that genus. I mean, you, they are really, really diverse in the Brachypelma genus. Really beautiful animals. They live a long time. Unlike dogs and cats, you can get tarantulas that live probably longer than you, depending on what age you are. You know, I'm 37 years old. I got tarantulas that I'll probably have when I'm in my 60s if I take care of them. So that's another plus. You really do get your money's worth. It's almost like they're free when you think about it. Because once you pay that initial cost, they're yours for life, basically. So, again, that's why you should own a tarantula. That's why I own tarantulas. And I encourage anybody who don't own one, you're on the fence about it, do your research first. That's the most important thing. Do your research first. Once you do that, go ahead and get one. You'll be presently surprised how much you end up liking that tarantula and how much it'll be become addicting for you to give more. That's what I have to say about it. I see you guys next time. Be good. Be genuine. And I'll see you on the next one.